Right, welcome back to Hot Diggity Dog Part 2, uh, Episode 5, I should say. Right, we're going to go back across to the um, the chef and his assistant, I dare say. I mean, yeah. All right, dinner, what are we doing? What have we done so far? Are we nearly ready, I'm guessing? Yes, we are. Right, okay, what have you done? Right, it's just some fresh prawns without the skin. Yeah. A little bit of olive oil until they get pink. Half a lemon and some tomato ketchup. Right now. Just tomato, plain old tomato, tomato yes. ketchup, yeah? And oh, not wonderful. forgetting the Hot Diggity Dog sauce. Not spicy, yeah, huh? So what's, uh, what's the avocado about then? The avocado is like a, a garnish yeah. for the plate. But now that's ready. I'll show you how you open the avocado. Okay, it's so not many people know how to do this with, the, with the, obviously the, what they call it, the seed or is it the nut in the middle or? Yeah, that's a, a seed in the Okay, middle. Marines have to do it, yeah, themselves. Ah, <sighs> <Okay. Wow. laughs> Look at the state of that. You've done that with that dagger on your arm, haven't you? Right, so how are you going to serve this, Dina? Okay, we're going to put some Mexican tostadas on pompadoms. <laughs> no, they're not pompadoms, that's <laughs> Indian. Mexican, this is. Yes. No, they look like pompadoms. And hot sauce, yeah, whatever. So we're going to put these... Wonderful prawns. Oh, look at that, look. Yummy. Yeah. So the, these guys here have to sort of break them off in their hands and start eating them with the, with the outside of the... Yeah. It's... Pompadoms. <laughs> <laughs> I thank sorry, you. Sorry. Tostadas, I thank tostadas, you. tostadas. Okay. Shut up! I did that for you. You only know what poppadoms are, but these are tostadas. These are Mexican. <laughs> anyway, right, back, back to the cooking. So what yeah, we do? Whatever. Okay. Right, guys. I think what we're going to do is uh, get the get the crowd and come and taste this in a minute. And the avocado. You, you just don't want one then. You just slip a little sucker. Yeah. One or two bits on there, or? Yeah, a couple. Yeah. Here's mine. Is it fresh? <laughs> <laughs> He's got to get in the shot, and he? he's got to get in the camera. Yeah, to contribute somehow. John's not here, so he's got to get in the shot. Well, there's a lot more room. So there. this is that you've got the prawns, the tomato sauce, the hot diggity dog, the avocado for the smooth flavour. And Oops. obviously the garnish. Oh no. Look at that. How pretty is that? So pretty. Uh, you watch a stamp now, there's only three. Do you know, is this like a, a traditional Mexican dish? Uh, yes, it is. Really? Yes, yes. Wow, I've never seen that before. Right, Shreefa, you better start cooking that. That looks lovely. All right, guys, come on in. Have a taste. This is Dino's speciality. Yeah. Right, guys, in the meantime, what we're going to do is we've got uh, a world-famous DJ coming in tonight, Neil Navarra. He's, uh, well, he's world-famous. He's now going to appear in all sorts of movies, but the next one, he's, he's flying out tomorrow morning to Glasgow to go and film the sequel of uh, Trainspotting. Uh, Roddy Dole filmed the original one. If you can't remember it, go and watch it. Please welcome Neil Navarra. <laughs> Nice to see you got a bottle of brother cider there. That's what BBG just would have wanted. Well, I joined you. Cheers, mate. Thank he was a raging right. alcoholic like me, apparently. No, just... well, it's, well, we're recovering. We're recovering. Recovering, yeah. I always, always, always confuse me that uh, Alcoholics Anonymous. Hi, my name is Neil. I'm, a, I'm an alcoholic. We're not anonymous anymore, are you? Well, we're no, exactly. They found you out. And that's why I say I go home every day and say, love, I'm drunk. But, um, <laughs> where's that drummer gone? <laughs> He's gone back, back at the back. So, yeah. what are you involved in at the moment? What's going on? Oof, wow. Um, how long have we got? Ooh, about five minutes. Right, okay. Well, we'll condense it then a little bit. Um, at the moment, I'm still brand manager for Escaping the Park, which yeah. is uh, Wales' biggest dance music festival, which is quite fun. Also, now I've moved back down to Wales after being uh, oh, about 10 years now, travelling away with the DJ and stuff. Where have you been? Cool. Um, been everywhere from Egypt to Dubai to Colombia a couple of times. Uh, New Where York. Where about Dubai? I used to live in Dubai. Where yeah, about? I did uh, the 360 bar. I did yeah. the apartment club. Uh, I did Chi. Uh, they gave me. They actually gave me a, an Arabic name out there. Well, which was what? Yeah. They, they, they apparently they set up um, Al Qaeda set up camp out there. Oh. So they made me the spiritual leader. I was called uh, Osama bin Laden. It. <laughs> <laughs> we, need, we, need, we, need, we need that drummer again. <laughs> Hopefully this is not being shown in Dubai in the next couple of years. No, I don't think I'm ever going to somewhere with an Arab country any of again. No, exactly. There you go. So, uh, that so you're involved in Pritch at the minute with, this, with the, the clothing, sleep while you're dead soon, like? The sleep when you're dead thing with Pritch, I mean, that's the way he kind of lives his life. It's, a, it's more than just, um, you know, party hard. It's more like every day you live your life, you have to, you know, you only get one shot at life and we're not here for a long time, you're here for a good time and we've got to 
make the most of things. And you know, I see too many people who, who live their lives and they go through it and they just whinge about everything and say, oh, you know, they're not happy with a lot. Make a change. You can make a change. Only you can make a change to your life and do, you know, do something that's worthwhile and make, put your footprint on life. Half um, empty, half full. Exactly. I and, mean, you know, you, you've got to go big or go home. So, well, exactly, and as you showed me earlier, your underpants is the first part of the uh, the suit. Yeah, yeah, that's the. Go on, have a look at these. Uh, I'm, look. Gonna look at these uh. I'm not going to show you the front bit because all the girls will get pretty fucking gnarled up. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> so uh, that's the back bit of it. So all the boys can get pretty gnarled up. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure there's but, a few um, of them. <laughs> So uh, they're available from ballbags.com. That's ballbags.com. Ten pound free. I mean, sorry, was that ballbags.com? Ballbags. B a w. B -A -G -S oh, ball, as in crying ball. Yeah, 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 Scottish, yeah, yeah. So what's this, this film going at Roddy Dawes, a sequel to Trainspotting? What's, what's yeah, the problem um, with that? Yeah, that was quite a funny one how it came about, really. Um, I was doing a, a radio show thing for, for, for God's Kitchen, and um, I met up with a guy um, from Canada who flew over to wanted to syndicate the show, and I met up with him in Birmingham, and he was like... Um, he, met, he was like, right, you've, got to, you've got to meet with a friend of mine, a guy called Rob Hayden, who's a, who's a film director. Yeah. And he said, you have to meet with him. He goes, have, have you done any acting? And I was like, yeah, I've done a li little bits and bobs. You know what I mean? I've been you know, getting away with DJing for the last 15 years. So. When you get caught out, sleeping yeah. out, watching that kind well, of stuff, yeah, the yeah, acting like, comes in. Jump up and down, shout a bit, and then people think you're great, you know? Oh, so yeah, yeah. it's good. So um, I went and I met this guy in London, and he, was, he said, oh, well, actually, I've, uh, I'm doing an adaptation of the, the next Irving Welsh novel, which is Ecstasy, which tells a chemical romance. Yeah. And he goes, I I'd like you to be in it. I'd like you to help cool. me with a few bits and bobs there as well. And I was like, oh, okay, cool, all right. So, um, well, that was like, I remember back in the 90s, that was the iconic film, Trainspot. And I used to yeah, watch it over and over, Renton and uh, yeah. Spurred and what, what was the other fellow, the bleached air? Johnny Lee Miller was Johnny Lee Miller, yeah. yeah, he was in it as well. It was Robert Carlyle, that, yeah. that was his, you know. Yeah, that, of course. That was Begbie, that was his, um, you know, that was his first big break. So, you know, who knows, this could be my next big break. You could be playing an MFI. I could be, it could be Albi. <laughs> it could be Albi, can I? You could be. Well, we'll keep up. Yeah. Yeah. You happy to come down a couple of weeks' time and of give course, us another yeah, spin of the yeah. day. We as might as even as get you doing a, doing a party here afterwards. Well, yeah, as long as you don't make me do that chilli challenge again. Oh, yeah, but, yeah, but that's the thing. We bring people in and we get people to do the chilli challenge. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. I, I, to be honest with you, afterwards, no. It, it, was, it was a bit hellish for about five, ten minutes yeah, afterwards. The, the pain goes off afterwards, eh? It does. Listen, pain is temporary, but glory lasts forever. There's no glory in it because we have to reshoot it again later. Well, there's no glory in it because Brim beat me. Well, he's an Asian rocker. He's an Asian rocker. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I believe he beat me. Well, you know, it's Bryn from the dam, though, so, you know, I'll, 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 I'll concede that one. He's legendary. Neil, oh. listen, it's been awesome having you, mate. Thanks, Thanks Thanks for having me done. Fucking awesome, mate. Lovely. Hot diggly dog, by the way. Hot diggly dog. <laughs> right, guys, what you're going to do is go back across to a young lad who's a local lad. This is the uh, the business end of the show. We've had the aging rockers who have become famous and are going famous and doing things for fun. But now we're going to get somebody who's uh, very, very talented, who's pretty much unheard of, but we're getting in there. Hopefully, this will be another leg up for him, another sort of feather in his cap. Please give it up for Alid. Sean Williams. Right, 
this song has got a little story behind it. It's about like women that mess you around. Guys don't know about this, right? But I've changed the names with like nursery rhymes and Disney character names. Right. So you, she, it's a bit dirty though. <laughs> <laughs> this is called the nursery rhyme song, I guess. myself staring at a blank page trying not to think about the old days trying to figure out why i'm stuck down in this hole trying to find a reason not to look at you but i can't seem to find a reason why not to but it was mary mary quite contrary how did your garden grow old I bet you I could wet you really nice and slow But one day Mary, she got tired and left me on my own I wonder if Mary knows that I'm all alone Well, there was sweet Snow White, did she put up a fight? Hell no, she's got a heart of gold But when I came back from a business trip Seven fellas all answered the door Singing hi-ho, hi-ho It's off to work they go I'll tell you one thing, I didn't talk to that girl no more. I found myself staring at a blank page, or trying not to think about the old days, trying to figure out why I'm stuck down in this hole. Well, little Bo Beep, she lost her sheep and didn't know what to do. When I saw her crying, I said, darling, I'll help you. But we were okay for a little while, till her husband shouted, honey, I'm home. Well, I jumped out that window so fast I almost forgot my clothes. Now Goldilocks, now there's a fox, but she likes to mess around. We're talking about relationships, she couldn't keep her feet on the ground. She slept in one bed, two bed, three bed, four, and I don't even know how many more. It was too hot or too cold, too sweet or too old, we just got to go. I said, ooh, girl, you just got to go. I found myself staring at a black page Trying not to think about the old days Trying to figure out why I'm stuck here in this hole Well, Cinderella, she had a fella But that didn't bother me I saw her at the dance And she left quite suddenly I said, hey, hey you you seem to have your shoe But she packed her rags into her bags And disappeared from view I said, hey, hey you Well, what do I do with the shoe? Well, when I saw her leaving I said, darling, I'll find you Ooh, Cinderella, I'll find you That was Alid Sean Williams, a local talent that you will not forget with that little song there, the uh, the nursery rhyme song. We're going to get some more from Alan in a bit, but we're going to finish up here for now. Thank you very much for joining us. Uh, my name's Silo Wellen. This is my uh, significant other. The rest behind me, I'm, I think Shimon's going to touch my backside at the minute. But there you go. That's See you again right. next one. Watch how you go. Take care. I am the god of hell fire and I I am the god of hell fire and I give you fire I want you to burn